okay, we're going real yogic here. I'm usually not such a big person in mantras and singing along, but Om is really the way to go. Om Ka Chanting. It's the one that, yeah, that took over my heart um, of all the chantings that there are. And I was really not a big fan of chanting, singing songs that I don't understand in Sanskrit. It wasn't my idea of fun. Om really is something that I felt in my body rather than needing to be um, psychic for feeling something or so. I can feel the release in my body and I really like it. I would like to just give you a tiny little snippet of Om, uh, Omkar chanting, give you a little bit of an idea, but there's much more to it and if you want to learn more about it, you know where to come. <laughs> just ask. <laughs> ask and you shall receive. So if you want another video on this one, I will do another video. So Om is not Om at all. So that's a misconception. It's actually an ah sound that slowly gets smaller and smaller and smaller till it goes to a hmm sound. It's a universal vibration of where everything started. Anything that moves has a vibration attached to it that makes a sound like a humming or an, uh, like even a vacuum cleaner makes a sound like that. So, or like if you go on the top of a wine glass and you go around it, it goes hmm. That's really what we're looking for. The whole meditation and chanting thing is about your vibration. Why is that so important? You know, vibration is a big thing. Our whole body runs on vibration. And if our vibration is disturbed, we will have physical problems. You can feel the vibration in your shoulders. See if you can feel the little knots there vibrating a little bit too intense. So if you can melt the tension a little bit there of vibration, the knots will just disappear. So let's just see. I will give you a few ohms and I will make a little MP3 um, of, a, of a round of Omkar chanting. So uh, you can chant with me when you're alone at home and you feel like your om is a little bit small and you would like to have some other people to om with you. Okay, I will give you a few oms so you can see how a mouth opens wide like an apple bite arm, release your, release your jaw, and then it's just closing and that's actually creating the om sound. So let's just have a look. Oh. Hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.